This is a 2013 Toyota Prius. Uh, the regular kind. And <laughs> so this is the same for 2010 to 2015. Or it should be. Um, and today, we're doing the uh, window switch. We're switching out the window switch. So this is the window switch, the control switch. Whatever you want to call it, it's on the driver's side door. It's what controls all the locks and the windows. Whatever. This is the main switch for your door. This is my trusty little flathead screwdriver. And it's my trusty screwdriver because it gets in most places. So it's a nice little small guy. So I'm just trying to get my little fingers under there so I can pry up. And boom, that piece of trim comes out. Um, and then... I guess we can try and undo this. <laughs> Let me see if I can get underneath there as well. Oh, there we go. It's popping. It's popping. It's popping out. There we go. Come on. There it is. So that comes out. We take this white plug off. You just push down on this little clippy here. And it pulls right out. And then we got this cover that we need to remove. We got a couple, well, a few screws here. So we're just going to remove those screws and it'll come right out. There's the screwdriver. Put this down there. So that comes right out. There you go. Easy peasy. This is the old switch. This is the new replacement switch. As you can see, look exactly the same, just new. Um, so hopefully this will fix our window problem. Let's find out. So we're just gonna put that right back on there. Dig around for the screws that I just got rid of. Um, this guy was the one that was in there, so we're just gonna put that guy in there these where they go we got one more in there come on there it is just in reverse Ready for the work. super easy replacement usually like on, on most cars that i have worked on at least um you really have to take off the entire door to get to the switch so it's nice that this you just have to remove a screw and a couple of panels to get to it that's pretty nice there you go so that's right back on the cover and we're just going to plug it back in. There we go. And we're just going to clip that back in place. There we go. Put the piece of trim back in its place as well. Let's see if we can get it lined up here proper. There we go. Nice. So that goes right back on there. We got our little screw in here. Actually, hold on. You don't even need to remove this screw. What am I doing? So this screw in this door panel, you don't even need to worry about. You shouldn't even remove that. Don't worry about it. It's not necessary. That was an extra step, like I said, on most cars. You usually have to remove the door panel, so that's why I got that off of there. But you don't have to remove the door panel on this. You literally just pry on this little panel here and pop it out, and then you pop this out, and you're good. That's it. Easy. Let's see if it works. Can you pull this in? Oh, that one fell through. Hi there, Nate. Oh, we disconnected the pack. Oh, right. <laughs> Duh. So, back in the car. I've turned the car on. The problem with this window switch um, was that the rear windows back here would not roll back up after you roll them down. So we're testing if they're going to roll back up. There they go. Hey. So both of them roll back up now. So the window switch is good. Perfect. Nice. Lux, unlock, lock, unlock. I guess that would work too. Window lock. Yeah. There we go. 
Nice. Cool. Great. It works. Very nice. One thing went right today. <laughs>